Uh, you know I come from a city of sorrow, man. Ugly introduction, red snow, heartaches. Hey, to man, it's your boy Rico the Waver, man. We back at it with another one, man. Y'all already know how we rocking and rolling. In today's video, y'all already know I'm pretty much going to be showing y'all how to properly tie a Rico rag. Now I have several different ways I will be showing you how to tie these Rico rags today, so you know how to properly tie your Rico. Rico's rack. You feel me? Whether you have the Rico Surf rack or the Rico's 360 Black Edition. So, first things first, we're gonna have to unrag and show you the waves, of course. Let's properly unrag real quick. You dig? Just like that. Now, we have the Rico Surf Rag right here first, or should we rag up with the OG? Now, um, let's see what do we go with. Which one am I gonna choose to rag up with first? Mm, gotta go down with the OG. Gotta go down with the OG. So, First things first, this is how you normally tie a uh, Rico's 360 rag. Just so you can show it, just so you can just have your waves naturally tied down and everything will be A1. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's like this. The flaps are already out. Meaning when I say that, the line, I mean, the line is already out. You do not have to flip it upside down to put it on. The lines are already out, you will not have a line on your head. So what I like to do is I take it, pull it down to about right here, right above the eyebrows. Now you follow the process until you get to the strings, to the back, right there, just like that. And then I let go, now it's tucked behind the ear. I take it, one side. Make sure it's like that, meanwhile, after you grab this piece like this, the line has to stay straight. Grab this piece out. Grab them together just like that. Now, your flap should be just like this on both sides. Then after that, you pull your hand back a little. Take one, pull it out just like this. Wrap it just like this around. Make sure it's wrapped around this way so it won't flip like this and show this side. You wanna show the black. Just like that, yes sir. Straight to the back. And after you get to the back, you tight, you pull a little bit. Let that hang over the ear. Take this side, make sure it's straightened out. Pull it across here. Pull it right across the tip of this one. Pull a little tight on that side. Not too tight, you don't wanna squeeze your dome. Take it over this one, under, pull down lightly. Now you tie a knot. Pull down, pull down the back, pull down the strings. And that's just for a loose fit for the Rico rag. That's a loose fit. That's just a loose, nice little deluxe fit right there. Nice little fit. It's nice, it's not too tight, it's not too loose. It's just right. That's one way you can tie the black. Now another way you can also tie the black Take it apart just like this. Boom, boom. Boom. Come out the rack. 
You feel me? So what I like to do, another way you could tie it is same process, same in the back, grab it. One's behind, take this side, wrap it around. Put it in your mouth, no homo. So you can hold it. Round this side. Put your hand there to hold that one. Pull this one. Just like that. Same process, a little different. It's a little simpler. Pull it down in the back for a nice full fit. Or you can roll it up, throw it up. However you want to do the back is up to you. Now, when we get to this new 360 surf rag, I'm going to show you a whole new way of tying your do-rag. A whole new entire way. Whoo! So let's get to it. And it's loose. You can just simply untie it real nice and loose. And just pull. Just like that, man. So, <clears throat> you take your black 360 uh, do rack, 360 Rico's merch rack. Take this one. Throw this sexy thing on, just like that. Line it up to the eyebrows, just like that. Now you don't have to line it up to the eyebrows. I just like to do that so it looks more stylish. It's up to you. You can put it back. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Now for this one. You can take it just like this to the front, straight to the front, just like this. Now, when you get here, you can pull this side to the side, make sure it's straight. Bam! Style it up a little bit. Boom! Pull this and make sure that side is straight. Now you pull them over each other, just like that. Make sure the front stays straight because that's the stylish part. Take this one, pull it this way so that way the, the Rico's merch will still be flapped out. You, you dig? Just like that, you know? Take this back side, make sure it's tight, hold your finger here to hold down the tightness. Take this one just like this. Now it's like a shoestring. You just, boom, flap that one over the other. Pull that one up. Find your hole, tuck it through, you feel me? Just like that, boss. Still tight. Everything's still tight. No, no, not in the back. And then you can also, you know, tuck, wrap this again a little tighter. You can bring it in more. If you want them to hang down more, you can. It's up to you. It's up to you on how you want to do it, man. Or you could just do it like this and let the whole thing hang. You feel me, Naruto style. But make sure you got your rag, your, your black one just hanging just like that. You feel me? You styling. Just like that. You feel me? Hit your poses. You feel me? And you could do the same thing with the black one, but we just switching it up because this is the orange one. It's the new one. It's the new style. We going nuts with it, man. And you just pull that out. 
real simple, man. It's different ways you could do it. Now I'm about to show you all the new. This is how the new generation of waivers are doing it. Take it. <clears throat> take it around just like this. And the strings are long, too. Long. So y'all can see. You got a lot of room. You got a lot of string to play with. So to fit around your big head, <laughs> it look nicer on your small head. Just like that. Now when we get to the, we're going to pull this one, hold this one in the back, pull this one out. You got a lot of string to play with, man. A lot of string. Take that one straight to the back. Make sure it's all flat. You want to have them flat so you won't have lines on your head. It's easy to make them flat. Instead of just doing like this, no. You spread it out, bro. Spread it out and use your finger to spread it out. No more lines, bro. It's 2020. Come on, now. That line stuff stopped last year. Then when you get to the back, pull it down. Just like that. Get your string. Both your strings, they still got, they still long. Take that, tuck it. Take this side, pull it a little bit. I have a skin tight do-rag. Not skin tight, but I have a tight do-rag without no lines. That's how you can tie your do-rag seamless. Seamless, no knot, however you want to call it. That's just how you want to, however you want to do it. Then you style on them. Let your flap hang. Let your flap hang. Just like that, man. Hey, man, say, man, this was Rico the Waver, man. And this is how to tie. This was how to tie, yo. Rico's merch, 360 do rag. How to tie a do rag. Doesn't matter what type of do rag, but I really prefer the Rico's merch rags because that's how, you feel me? I've been laying down my hair. I done laid down my wolves with, all, with this rag. You feel me? Just like that with either or. Whichever one you prefer, this is your boy Rico the Waver. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't already. And we out.